All right, guys, today you're going to be learning how to use the robot pin um, and draw a simple square in VEX coding. So from our sheet right here, okay, you want to go ahead and click the VEX VR code link to take you to right here. Um, and then go ahead, click on the playground button to open up your robot. Today you can go ahead and leave it on the grid map. I'm going to go ahead and hit the expand button. So just to make it a little bit bigger, get a little better view of our robot driving. All right. Now, what you need to keep in mind when using the pin is each one of these squares, all right, is measures 200 going across it. All right. So each square is 200. And when you draw a square, all of your sides need to be the exact same length. Otherwise, it's not a square. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, move my robot up a little bit to start. I'm going to go ahead and move him across uh, to this line right here. All right, so right now he's sitting in the middle of one square. All right, so it's going to be 100 to the edge, then 200 to that edge right there. So I'm going to get my drive forward command. I'm going to slide it in, lock it in place right there. Okay, so it's set for 200 right now. I'm going to, I need to add 100 to that. So I click on that right there, type in 300. So now what that's going to do, if I hit the play button, he's just going to drive forward and stop right there on that line. Okay, so next thing I want to do then is start to draw. Your pin feature over here in your codes, if you scroll down, all right, you can keep scrolling and you can see you have set print print color to black move pin down all right so i'm going to go ahead and move my pin down so that way it drops the pin so it's going to drive forward for 300 drop the pin then i'm going to set my print color and i'm going to change mine to blue i don't care what color you can look at the colors right here black red green blue i don't care what color you use you can use whatever color you want Okay, but he's going to drive forward for 300, set his pin down. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a simple square. I'm just going to go two, four, six on up right there. So I'm going to go three squares up to there. Keep, keep in mind, you want to drive the same length for all of your square. All right, so my pin's going to go down. I'm going to scroll back up and drive forward. Again, he's going to drive forward for three squares, which is 600. All right, so now if you look at what I have, um, when I hit the play button, he's gonna drive forward to that line, the pin's gonna drop down, and it's gonna draw a line right there for six squares. Okay, now I need him to turn to the right and go for six squares. So I'm gonna turn to the right, then I'm going to drive forward again for three squares, which is 600. And then I'm going to turn to the right again because we are doing a square. All right. So now he would be over here turning to the right. He needs to go for another 600. So now if you look, when I hit the reset button, now if you look, He's going to drive forward, turn to the right, drive the entire time. He's drawing a line for me. Turn to the right, come down. Okay, now I need to finish out my square, which is another turn right, and then drive forward for 600. All right, so I need to turn to the right, and then drive forward for 600. And now if you watch, he will drive forward, draw him a line, turn to the right, continue drawing a line, turn to the right, continue drawing a line, turn to the right, and then continue drawing the line. And there we have our square drawn by a robot in VEX coding. Don't forget to take your screenshot and turn it in.